In this video, I will show you how to make a Snapchat account private. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see, I'm currently on Snapchat on the camera section of Snapchat. Now, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come up to the top left-hand corner and press onto your Bitmoji icon. So that's gonna take you across to your profile screen. And from here, you wanna come up to the top right-hand corner and press onto this gear icon to open up your settings. Now, in your settings, what you want to do is just scroll down a bit on your settings. And a little bit down the page, you're going to see a section for privacy control. So this way we can come to actually make our Snapchat account private. It's not actually an option to just privatize your Snapchat account. What you need to do is just change a couple of settings in privacy controls. So for example, you can see the option that says see my location. If you give this a press and what you want to do is basically turn on ghost mode and then select until turned off, which is of course going to disable your location. So when it's enabled, your friends can't see your location. Some other things you can change in here is the contact me section here. So if we give this a press, we can change this to just friends. Also, we can change the view my story option. So if we press onto this and we can just change that to my friends as well. And you can also see an option for activity indicator. What we can do is go ahead and turn this off because if we do have this turned on, then others can see if you've basically been active on Snapchat. Now, one final thing you can do in here, as you can see, we've also got a section for comment settings. If we give this a press and what we can do is I like to leave mine set to manually approve, which means all comments need to be approved by myself. So they're not going to be shown publicly until I've approved them. So that's a couple of things you can change in your settings to make your Snapchat chat account more private. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.